Namaste everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Sean and today we're going to be practicing yin yoga to really ground ourselves into this present moment. So in today's busy modern lifestyle, it's so easy to get caught up in life, whether it be sitting on our phones or maybe it's at the computer, perhaps there's pressures at work or maybe there's chores to do at home. Whatever it is, we're just going to be pushing all of that to the side, bringing our mindfulness to this present moment and really dedicating this next 45 minutes to ourselves to create that space so that we can really feel into that inner peace and that inner silence um, that lies within each and every one of us. If this is your first time to yin as well, there is no need to force your body into any shape or form. Um, yin yoga is a practice of self-accepting and also um, honoring and nurturing your body accordingly. So to begin today's practice, I would love to invite you into our first pose, which is going to be a twisted roots. So coming onto our backs, we're going to bring the right knee. Right knee is going to come over the top of the left knee. And then as we drop our knee to the ground, we're then going to twist our body looking to the right inviting that beautiful stretch to arise within the lower back region feeling into your breath feeling it entering expanding the lungs Feeling it exits, the lungs contracting. Mindfully watching the breath. In this repeated pattern. Slowing the body down, slowing the minds down. Creating that balance, that sense of harmony within ourselves.
Breathing in, inviting that joy to arise within us. The practice of yin is a joyful practice. And we're going to release ourselves from the pose, taking a short little pause in the center, allowing the body to reset. Feeling into all of the sensations arising throughout. And then at your own pace, we're going to switch to the other side. So dropping our knee down to the right hand side. Extending our arm, looking to the left. Bringing your mindfulness to the inner stillness within, the tranquility, the inner peace. Observing the sensations arising with no judgment. chasing any sensation, but accepting the present moment as it is. Often when our mind is busy, it's so hard to feel into that beautiful richness in life. But as we slow ourselves down, we realize the truth, the wisdom, that this beauty is always there, always waiting for us to tap into it. Transitioning the body, mindfully returning it into the middle, pressing ourselves upwards into a seated position. Going to enter into a shoelace now, so placing the left knee onto the mat. Right knee is going to come over the top and then very gently, keeping the back nice and disengaged, we're going to fold forward up the hip, taking as much time as you need to 
into the shape that is right for you. Honoring your body. No need to force in any way, shape or form. Yin is a practice of acceptance. And once we find the shape that is right for us, we can commit to stillness. Letting go of the need to move and fidget. Allowing ourselves to sink deeper and deeper into the expanding stillness that lies within. Softening the body with each and every breath. Surrendering ourselves to the practice. Breathing in deeply and breathing out deeply. Grounding ourselves into the mat, pressing our hands up one by one, switching our stance to the other side. So the left knee now is going to come over the top you can take a little pause here if you wish. If that's what your body is telling you. And then when you're ready, once again, we're going to fold forward by the hips. Personally for myself, I have a lot of tension arising within my left glutes my left hip from going to the gym. So I'm just going to be very mindful, very still, and sending my love into this space. And the intention to release it. To care for it. With full mindfulness. Kindfulness.
breathing, expanding, feeling into the beautiful richness of the present moment. Continuing to keep our posture in a seated position. Going to extend our right arm to the sky. Left arm is going to come behind us. And then linking hands together. I'm going to be doing this one for a slightly shorter time of two minutes rather than the four minutes that we have been observing. Embracing the sensation in the left shoulder and the right tricep. Feeling into the fascial tissues, slowly stretching, realigning. Gently releasing. Now switching ourselves to the other side. So left arm is going to come up. Right arm behind us. Once again, linking hands. You may find that one side is more flexible than the other. This one is definitely my not so flexible side. That is perfectly fine. Embracing the shape that your body has formed. Accepting. And this teaching of acceptance is such a beautiful energy to bring into our daily life. Applying it as we work, as we rest in our social life, and even at the end of the day when we reflect on what we have achieved. It's always beautiful to be bringing this teaching of acceptance into this space. Releasing the hands. And entering now into a child's pose. So a nice simple one in the middle. Allow our body to reset. Allow our body to relax.
breathing in, grounding ourselves into this present moment. Slowly raising ourselves upwards to transition into a half dragonfly. So left leg extending outwards, right foot is going to come into the left thigh. And then gently folding forward, feeling it in the left hamstring. Embracing the sensation. Ah. Inviting the energy that is surrounding us to flow into this space. To nurture it, to restore it. Feeling into the body, feeling into the breath, with full intention. Switching ourselves now to the other side. So right leg extending outwards, left foot coming into the right thigh now. And then at your own pace, taking a pause here if you wish. Holding forward by the hips, keeping the body nice and relaxed and disengaged. Cultivating our mindfulness from moment to moment. 
very often in yin when we practice the mind wanders off into the past fantasizes about the future it's perfectly normal it's the natural habit pattern of the mind to do this we're constantly doing this and so if we catch it in one of these spaces we bring it back bring it back to the sensation of the body or the breath which can only be experienced in this present moment the beautiful richness of here and now Mindfully breathing in, expanding the lungs full of love, peace, joy. Raising our chin upwards and coming onto our stomachs. Keeping our arms shoulder width apart. I'm going to press up into a sphinx now. Just a nice, gentle back bend. Keeping the glutes and the calves disengaged. I can, I can feel my muscles down there contracting as I pressed up. Just very mindfully allowing this space to relax. And together we ground ourselves. Into the richness of life. richness of this experience
raising the hips backwards into a seated position to enter into a reclined butterfly so pressing the soles of the feet together gently leaning back if you have blocks and are wanting support you can always place them under your thighs if you wish if you're wanting to open up the heart space simultaneously placing the hands up above the head and breathing feeling the navel region rising and falling allowing for the space of the inner groin region to relax to disengage Scanning through the body, exploring with curiosity, feeling if there's any tension, nesting itself in any region, and if so, allowing this place. to relax, to release. Breathing in and breathing out. Extending the body outwards into our final resting position, Shavasana. And feeling into the body, how it sits right here in this space does it feel peaceful does it feel energized does it feel rested exploring into the body and the sensation
not trying to force any sensation of any particular shape to arise. Of course, just accepting what is manifesting here. Inviting the energy of love to flow throughout her body. Starting from the heart space and flowing upwards to the top of our head. And back down to the tips of our toes. Scanning our body with this intention of love, of kindness. When you're ready, I invite you to roll onto your side. Coming and sitting up. And together to close off the practice in the chant of Om. So placing our hands together in front of the heart space. Taking a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And a breath in for arm. Um. Oh. And raising our hands to the forehead, where we have wholesome thoughts, to the lips, where we speak the truth, to the heart, where we act with loving kindness. From my heart to yours, namaste.